Hi, welcome to our Sports Picks. We are the Odds Couple. His name is Mike Brenner. My name is Peter Loshak. Today is uh, April 11th, yes. right? No, April 12th. Yes. Today is April 12th, and we are t- it's Wednesday, April 12th. We are talking with Jumpin' Joe Gravasi yeah, from yeah, WinningSportsAdvice.com. We're going to take a look at uh, some uh, MLB games that, uh, that, sure. that that go tomorrow. Mike Brenner and I, of course, off to a nice start in the MLB. Oof. So far, profitable. Hopefully, we can continue it. Yeah, and, we just uh, cashed another one today with them Tigers on the first right. half, both of us. That's so. right. All right, so the first game we're going to cover with Joe Gravasi is Tampa Bay at uh, the Yankees tomorrow. That's uh, wow. Matt Andrees against Luis Severino. And the Yankees, uh, you know, a lot of uh, big, nice, young prospects in the lineup, but not really producing wow. right now. Some of the guys are, are, are slumping. Some of the guys are injured. I mean, and some are uh, figuring it out. You know? Yeah, some are figuring it out. It, a lot it's of got th- that feel that they're going to get dangerous as the season goes yeah, on, as they right. remain under the radar, because everybody just assumes they're going to stay like this. Yeah, I mean, guys like Sanchez and Bird and Aaron Judge, all youngsters with big sure. potential, but it's not panning out yeah. right now. And yep. uh, Tampa Bay, uh, you know, has hey. Kiermaier, uh, you know, so, yeah. so some nice stuff going on in their lineup and uh, in general maybe a little bit undervalued so uh, we'll see what so. uh, Joe Gavazzi has to say about this game before we get to it I mean at the current I'm seeing an opening line here of the Yanks as a modest uh, home favorite uh, my first thought on that I haven't looked at this game deeply but I would think uh, Tampa Bay as a small uh, road dog might be worth a shot what do you I, think, I think so too because like you said the you know the, their offense is, is playing very good right now and that's with Longoria not mm-hmm. even hitting the, the leather off the baseball so right. everybody's contributing and what it's doing for a young team also uh, it, they're, they're gaining some confidence because let's not forget the Rays are rather young. They got rid of a lot of different players. So, But the Yankees, I don't know right now, they just cannot get into that hitting and groove. Mm-hmm. And until they do, I can't back them, Pete. If yeah. anything, I would fade them. Matt Holliday's supposed to be saving the day over there, but that hasn't happened yet either. But maybe Jumpin' Joe's got some insight that we're not sure about or don't know about. or you know. All right, Joe, what out. can you tell us about this game? I think we're right on the same page with this guy, game, guys, looking at the Tampa Bay Rays. You remember, last week I referred you to an article at Joe Gavazzi Sports in which we looked at those all-important OPS numbers. The bottom line from that was that I expected rebound years from both Minnesota, the Tampa Bay Rays, and a bit of a down year from the Texas Rangers. Mm. Well, if you had followed that ad- advice through Tuesday action, you'd be 15-7 and seven playing <laughs> on the Rays, playing on Minnesota and against the Texas Rangers. And we're going to follow that thinking with the Tampa Bay Rays today, who did take two out of three from the Yankees in the earlier set here this week. Now, Andres and Severino, neither of them pitched extremely well when they were in their first outing Saturday. But as you guys have pointed out, I still think there's great value on an underrated team in the Tampa Bay Rays. And I would look at them as an underdog here at a short price in a perception reality game in which the Yankees and the big name always a bit overvalued at home. All right. That's the way I'm feeling as well. Uh, you know, uh, any game, uh, there's a lot of uh, variance in any individual game, but I'd be leaning Tampa Bay here as well. What do you think, Mike Brenner? I would too. And I also, I read the article from Joe with the OPS and with the Twins, the Rays, and then Fade in Texas. And uh, great job. Seriously, yeah. 22 games, 15 and 7. I paid attention to that, Joe, and I like the way that you broke that down. So there's no reason to think the Rays won't get it done here as well. That's awesome. Nice to know about Tampa Bay and Minnesota, although Fading Texas. Texas was something I was looking to do from day yes, one. You uh, did we call that, about that I do. I yes. Yes. All right, Joe Gavazzi, <laughs> winningsportsadvice.com is your website. Tell us about that. It's actually joegavazzisports.com now, although clicking to the former. Oh, okay, we'll sorry, yes. There. And, of course, we have free selections up there for you most days, and as well as sporting news as you can use, all at joegavazzisports.com. Thanks, Joe. Thanks, Joe. Have a great day. Well, this episode of The Odds Couple is over. But if you give us a like and click SBR's logo at the bottom of the screen to subscribe, then you'll get all the upcoming videos as soon as they come out. And don't forget to take advantage of our website. There's free picks, live betting lines, and sportsbook reviews, and ratings guides, and a whole lot more. Check it out now.